Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today we're gonna be looking at a, a SAS docking station because, um, well, I, I purchased this a couple of years ago. Uh, looks like that, and it, 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 it's for SAS drives. It's not for SATA drives, it's for SAS drives. And uh, this costs an arm and a leg because it could do SAS drives. And when I did the video on it, it performed extremely poorly. To say it as it is, many of the drives didn't work at all and the ones that worked was very slow. So, um, well, I got a comment in the video the other day to ask me if, uh, well, more or less they told me that they had watched my video and I now saved them a lot of money. And um, I, of course, thanked them. And then I came to, th mm, did I do that right? Is it really this bad? So I thought I'll have a second look and see if, um, well, maybe it's a driver issue, maybe it's something else. I have no idea. So this video is just, we're gonna try this out again. Just try and throw a few discs in it and see how it performs. It's a simple, I'll bring you closer. There is nothing magical about it. It's a docking station. You can put in a small discs, uh, two and a half inch in the, in the crack, and you can open this up and it takes three and a half inch hard drives. And it has a SAS slot down there. You might be able to see that. There we are. Yeah, it has a SAS slot. On the back of it, it has a USB cable. It has a power cable. It needs 12 volt because three and a half inch hard drives needs 12 volt and it has an on off button. So uh, magic, I'm sure. So we're gonna put it here and we're gonna try and put a drive in it. And uh, this one, this is a Hewlett Packard branded drive. It is really an HGST. Uh, what used to be Hitachi, but now more like Western Digital, and it's a 12 terabyte drive. So that should pop it there, go into the connector, and then I can, on the back, I can reach and I can press the power on button, and look at that, it lights up blue. So, moving to the screen. <laughs> That's bad timing. <laughs> Screensaver. Okay, we just made it. It uh, it pops up and it's uh, it's an unallocated 12 terabyte drive. So uh, yeah, these are kind of dutchy drives. So um, uh, they're, they're not perfect drives, but I purchased this SAS dock to be able to test drives without turning on a server every time. So um, we, we are gonna. Continue. We're gonna give it a name. I usually call them test. We're probably at 35 at least. So uh, next, next, finish. And we should have ourselves a drive. Let's get you a better view of that. There, and it pops up the, the window with the drive. I wanna see how fast I can copy from and to this drive. So I have uh, the drive here, E drive. I have another window here, which is my temp uh, directory where I put all my crap. And um, <laughs> crap and crap. I copied my latest video uh, because it was kind of big. It's a seven point, well, just about 7.4 gigabyte. And I want to see how fast it copies that forth and back. So we're going to create a uh, folder in here and call that return. That's the return folder. Very nicely spelled. But we're going to copy the file over to the new drive. Let's see, speed is at 47 megabytes per second gonna take two minutes to copy that over normally these drives has no problem with plus 200 megabytes per second so I do believe that well the 
the docking station is a big part of that limit so that um, it's being slow drive is fine computer should be okay but yeah I'm gonna let this copy over and, and then we're gonna try and copy it back we're just about there uh, yeah so I created that return folder so we're gonna go into the return and we're gonna copy it back here uh, there copy let's see if that's any quicker oh that's a lot quicker 200 and 30 40 well that is awesome so reading from the drive through the through the docking station is is the speed that I was expecting but writing to it is awful so okay we learned a lot here I wasn't expecting that I was expecting it to be exactly as slow okay I want to see if um, if it will copy uh, faster back again so that's the the test drive so I'm gonna delete that one and then we're gonna go into the return folder over here and we're gonna copy that over there copy and it's not going any quicker so data out is slow on this one hmm. the right speed is slow with this one so this this kind of works oh it gets very warm uh, it heats up it's not nothing you can't touch so let's power it off and I'll just let it spin down a little bit make sure that it has parked the hits I, I do believe it does that fairly quick but I have another one here and the label says mystic suspicious in Danish uh, so we're gonna pop that in I had last time I did not have any luck with this brand uh, this is a uh, what is this this is a Seagate technology and they did not want to work in this docking station so um, I am not uh, holding my breath on this one so uh, let's if I don't remember wrong it didn't even spin up but let's hear okay it does actually spin up So it's spun up. Oh, and it pops up. That's new. Okay. Maybe we're in luck here. We'll move that out of the way. Yeah, we got a 10 terabyte. We're gonna initialize that disk. Uh, yes. Create new drive. Google Gadget and that must be test number 37 6 yeah next up next issue and it should pop up for us when it's done format oh it popped up on the other screen so it's here interesting last time I had no luck with these hard drives so maybe something good has happened so we're gonna go up a notch and we're gonna try and copy my 7.4 gigabyte file over on that drive oh that's a lot quicker look at that that's 200 megabytes per second copying that file over I do believe that I have upgraded to Windows 11 since I did the other video I have no idea if that driver change could be why I'm having more luck this time 
or Windows Update. That was a lot better. So now we're gonna go to the return driver. And we're gonna copy this back and see. Uh, I guess we can move it. See if... Oh, and it moves it quickly back as well. Wow. I must admit, this is unexpected. I, uh, it must have been a driver issue that I had like three years ago when I made this video. Awesome, that was quick. Okay, that was a total surprise that this worked. So, but I, I have a little, uh, oh, this also becomes really warm. I have a little um, bonus hard drive. This one is a new one, but it's a 24 terabyte SAS drive. So uh, let's um, let's try that. Uh, we should have our disk manager there. Do we get a new hard drive? It's thinking about it. There we are. New drive, initialized disk. Okay, and that might just be disk number 37. There. And it's formatting and it's complete. So here we have our disk and we need our file. So let's copy that over. Uh, we're copying that over with about 200 megabytes per second. Not bad, 210, 15 even. That's not, that's way better than when I tested this thing the first time. I was getting awful speeds back then. This is, this is workable. This is something that you can work with. Uh, just the first drive that didn't do well. So let's return that to the return folder. And it transfers the data off of the hard drive even quicker. 244-ish megabytes per second. Not bad at all. 242 awesome so that's really awesome news that well suddenly this thing works I wasn't expecting that I was I was kind of expecting that I would connect it and it would be as dreadful as last time so now we're gonna take this 24 terabyte hard drive out of here. I want to try it with another one. I have one more of these 10 terabyte drives that are oh come on up. <clears throat> yeah I don't I don't think it's good for keeping the hard drive in there for long because they do get warm but uh, for testing I think it's fine so uh, pop that in there pop that on and see um, if I'm lucky here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this video a little bit short. I'm very happy. I should get some lights over here because I'm very dark, especially over here. Uh, very happy that this worked out so that I, uh, I can use this thing. I think it was over a hundred euros or something. I will actually, I'll dig up the link for it and I'll put it in the description because now I'm not so unhappy with it as I was in the last video. I'll also try and leave that probably, I forget, is it over there? Mm. It's, um, it's right there. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.